Migraines are one of the most prevalent neurological diseases in the United States, and the world has, has tens of millions of people suffering uh, from migraine headaches. Neurologist and pain management specialist Dr. Chad Domingue joins us to discuss an abor abortive treatments uh, for migraines uh, that lots of people deal with every single day. So before we even talk about the treatments, I know people sometimes don't know the difference between a regular headache and a migraine. Kind of help us sort those out if you can. Absolutely. A uh, migraine is a specific neurological diagnosis. Just to give a little more uh, statistics to what you're talking about earlier, one out of every four U.S. households has someone in it with a migraine. Migraine is the third most debilitating disease in the world. So this is a major problem. Migraines are pounding. So what happens with migraine, your blood vessels dilate, so the blood goes everywhere, and you have this nervous system that releases all these nasty inflammatory uh, mediators that cause pounding, sensitivity to light, nausea, vomiting. Migraine people are in a dark room, don't want anyone to talk to them. The other thing that's crazy about migraine is you get neurologic stuff called an aura. You see spots in your vision, smell. Just to tell a personal story, my brother, when he was younger, never got headaches, but he had motion sickness, stomach sickness. My mom has terrible migraines. What's interesting is you can have migraines and never get a headache. Looking back, my brother's stomach symptoms were migraines. You can go blind, you can get dizzy, and you never have a headache. It's really interesting. And I know there are lots of over-the-counter medications uh, to try to treat, spot treat, if you will, migraines, but what are some more of the intense, uh, perhaps prescription options that people can take to, to really target those migraines and, and try to subdue those symptoms? Yeah, so we're talking specifically today about a board of medication, meaning I have a headache, I wanna take something. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked before about preventative, meaning I take something every day and I wanna prevent the headache from coming. Uh, the two most common uh, treatments for abortives work on vasoconstriction. So as we discussed, the blood vessels open up, so you want to cramp them down. Uh, the most common one is what we call triptans, Imitrex, Amerge, Maxalt, there's a host of them. Uh, they work on a serotonin receptor to cause vasoconstriction. Um, I have actually an injectable product here. This is uh, Sumatriptan, which is a Imitrex. So a patient would inject this when they're having a bad headache. You need to be cautious because if you have high blood pressure, that constriction can make your blood pressure worse mm -hmm. and it can make you feel like you're having a panic attack. Uh, another medicine in that category is called Ubrivly. This is a new one. This came out um, uh, late 2000s. It got FDA approval 2019. It works on a calcitonin gene related peptide that also works on the, the blood vessels. So again, taking this causes that vasoconstriction. Um, the other options that you discussed is a million of these over the counters. Uh, tension headache, BC powder headache, uh, headache relief, all these medicines are very dangerous because they have multiple medicines, Tylenol, ibuprofen, aspirin. And what people don't understand because they're over the counter is there's a host of side effects. One single aspirin thins your blood for 10 days and you can't reverse hmm. it. People don't know this. That, yeah, I was going to say that's something people don't know, and people take stuff like that all the time for, for all the time. symptoms less than migraines. So uh, I know people probably still have lots of questions about migraines and how to treat them. Um, it, what, obviously, they need to talk to their doctor for specifics on some of those, uh, those prescription drugs, but is there anything people can do in the day-to-day -day, uh, that we can, we can advise them of in these last few seconds of our conversation here? Yeah, this is the most important thing of this entire segment. It's called rebound headache. As a neurologist, and I speak for all neurologists, majority of people we see don't have typical migraines they put these things in their mouths so much and i guess analogy is people with coffee headache they drink coffee all the time so it's not addiction like opioids which we've discussed many times but your headache becomes addicted to this medicine a migraineur should never take an abortive medication any of these more than nine times a month and there's no warning on any of these labels if you take it more than nine times a month your headaches start to get used to it. So you kind of get in this realm where you have a chronic daily headache, and if you don't take it, it gets really bad. So you kind of what I'd call migraine purgatory. You never go up, you never go down, and you become an absolute victim to taking all these pills. And so when I see these patients, the first thing we have to do is clean them out because we can't treat them because their, treat, their cure has now become their disease. So it's very, very important that patients do not overuse these medicines and have conversations with their physicians specifically about rebound headache. There you go. Have conversations with your physicians, especially those you mentioned, if you're having migraines to find the proper treatment method so you don't have those, those issues uh, later on. Dr. Chad, we appreciate your time as always. Absolutely. You guys have a good week.